I'm really enjoying what I've seen so far. Really great. Oh, show. Thanks. Um, oh, I love it, that. I mean, it's obviously based on a quite a sort of popular novel. I just wondered, do you find it kind of helpful to read the original text or do you sometimes find it better to avoid it? And do you decide kind of case by case and project by project or do you have a kind of process in that regard? Um, definitely case by case project. It's definitely, uh, it, it's definitely changed. This one in particular, I actually waited. Um, I waited because I was told from the start that there were a lot of things that were different about it and I'd started to flick I started to read and noticed immediately already there were things that were quite different um especially for my character Emily so I I had decided to and we were also um it was such a fast kind of shoot that was you know unfolding so it just made sense for me to really focus on the scripts at hand and then once once I was finished, I did read it. Um, and I'm glad I was able to separate them, to be honest. Um, but it was nice to also be able to, you know, have done the project and then appreciate the book. And then obviously for fans, I hope, you know, who have read the book and can appreciate the the, the series. But um, yeah, it's definitely case by case basis for me. I mean, your character has to carry around so much grief. And I just I want... If that can be quite an exhausting emotion to take around with you on set every day, or, or, do you, or I was going to say actually, because given the fact her past trauma kind of drives Claire, can it even be kind of mildly ex- inspiring in some ways too? Uh, it's definitely hard to. It was definitely hard to carry that around. Um, I found it particularly harder for this job. Um, to have this undercurrent of grief throughout the entire thing. I mean, as you said, I do think, you know, there is such a resilience to her and such a a kind of impressive ability to to try and keep on and that's why it makes it so much more dramatic when that downward psychological spiral really starts to set in um but you know it meant that by the end of the day every filming day I really just needed to to like get in the shower and like put on a robe, get a glass of wine and like put on Beyonce's Renaissance album. Like that was my go-to <laughs> and that, that's what I did. Like I had that album on repeat the entire time we were filming because I just needed to like get out of that headspace. Um, but I mean, also it's the thing that really drew me into this role. I really was so intrigued by a character that kind of has to confront these two very fractured parts of her her personality. You know, this child that suffered a great loss and then this adult that has had to sort of fill in a, a, a vacuum and a hole that was left in her family and, and who that made her become um so yeah did you say Beyonce before is that what you said I did yeah. Beyonce fixes everything everything she does <laughs> she absolutely does and I have you know quite a few like friends of mine who I've worked with like actors who know that if I'm in like a bad mood on set or if I'm like not having a great day or something they just know if you play Beyonce or Rihanna, either of the two, I'll like write up, perk right up. I'm like back to normal. I'm good. It's just like, it does something to me. It works. I, I was going to say, because I mean, much of the show obviously is kind of your younger self. So it's flashback sequences kind of on the island. I just wondered if it was quite interesting for you, if you've seen it, to watch those back. Because of course you can't have starred in, in that part of the sort of show. So was it quite yeah. fun in a way to kind of watch it like an audience member would? Although that said... Was it quite disappointing you didn't get to spend all your time in the Caribbean? <laughs> I know. Well, luckily I did get to spend some time in the Caribbean, actually, because we, um, in the Dominican Republic, because um, a lot of our interior set stages for New York were uh, on stages in, in the Dominican Republic. So I did get to have a little taste of it, which was quite fun. Um, but yeah, it is a, it's a really unique and weird experience when you're suddenly watching the younger version of your character being played you know, out without you. Um, and I think, you know, in that respect, you just do have to have a kind of trust to the the production, the directors and the showrunner to make sure that syncs up and, you know, makes sense and works, um, which thankfully I really think they did. So, you know. Yeah, a pretty decent job. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you so much for your time today. Best luck with the release of the show. Oh, thank you so much. It was lovely talking to you. you take care. Bye. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! Hey, <laughs> that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!